The truth about muscular genetics and what to do when nothing is working to build muscle. I've been seeing a lot of how I grew my quads or how I grew my lats or how I grew my chest videos on TikTok. And spoiler, 95% of the time these TikToks are people just doing standard traditional exercises. Most of the time when I see these, it's mainly traditional exercises to grow your muscles and make them ginormous. If you were to take other fitness advice and try all the silly lifts that are done that prevents good hypertrophic overload and stimulus, please do not combine these exercises. Just stick to the basics. If you were to track down exactly what these people are doing to grow their muscles optimally, these people that are sticking to basic movements and yet have insane amount of growth, if you copy them on their day-to-day -day life and copy exactly what they do every day, your muscles may not turn out like theirs. You could be doing all the right things. You could be doing a lean bulk 500 calorie surplus, gaining one pound per week, progressive overloading and listening to your body and taking deloads when needed around four to eight weeks, meal prepping all your meals, training a failure on most sessions, stretching and mobilizing with eight to nine hours of sleep for recovery, getting blood work and checking up on your free testosterone levels once a year to make sure you have healthy hormones, drinking a gallon of water a day, taking supplements like Tonkat Ali, vitamin D, creatine, magnesium, zinc, etc. Adding tempo reps, which is the number of difficult reps that are done prior to failure compared to the total reps. Adding pause reps, adding in more accessories to your lifts like bands. These are all optional. Proper form in the lengthened position and getting a stretch in on your eccentric movement. You can even try different variations of what I'm saying. You could try training beyond failure or training to failure only once every two weeks. You could be doing all the right things, but no matter what you do, your muscles will not grow as fast as Joe Schmo over there, for example, that eats fast food every day, works out only when he feels like it, gets five hours of sleep with a random circadian rhythm, relies strictly on pre-workout because that's the only supplement he's ever tried, but somehow he's way more jacked than you, putting in triple the amount of work he's putting in that just means you have bad genetics. If you have bad genetics, I wouldn't worry. I would keep pushing through. Because here at my arms, for example, solid natural physique. I'm bulking up hard, so there isn't a lot of tonality, but overall, it's pretty solid. Now, here's a photo of my shoulders. Pretty underdeveloped compared to my arms. All I would need to do is run my shoulders through experimental programs and specialize my shoulders in different variations every four to months and see what works best for me and continue trying to grow them because my shoulders might hit some kind of breakthrough.